No, not there. Can you put it over there, please, Felix? Thank you. Okay, sorry. You worry too much, Louis. You got this. Yeah, thank you, Lucy. To be honest, I guess I'm just a little worried about this. We've done this experiment over and over again. There's really no need to worry. Like I said, we've got this. Yes, but those tests were done on rats and chimpanzees, not humans. Oh, yeah. You're not helping. <laughs> I'm more concerned about our work environment. I mean, look at this place as a tip. Not to mention the equipment is from the Stone Age. I have better equipment at school, for God's sake. Do I hear a disgruntled employee? What's the problem? I'm sorry sir, I do understand. I just think... I don't pay you millions of pounds a year to second guess me. So please, just show me what I've called you here for. Well sir, since we last met you we've made a lot of progress. For example with our rats Bill and Ted. You did those tests ten weeks ago on those rats. I sent you 30 chimpanzees to work with. Mm. Well you see, one out of 30 successfully bonded with the virus. She showed signs of increased strength and intelligence. Whereas the others that didn't bomb with virus showed massive increases in hunger and rage. I mean, they were even breaking out of the cages and eating each other. We had no choice but to put them all down and class the group a failure. Those cages were made of steel. Exactly, sir. This virus is incredibly dangerous, but it does hold a lot of potential. So if you could give us three to five years, I'm sure we can give you something a lot manageable. You said one of the female chimps accepted the virus. 45 minutes after the virus infected, the chimp started to violently shake and convulse, and then she passed away and, well... Well? Spit it out? Well, exactly two minutes and 27 seconds later... The chimp came back to life. I think I've heard all I need to hear. But sir, I, I don't think you understand. After the infected chimp passed away, she was no longer the same chimp we'd been working with. All the characteristics that made her her were completely gone. All she wanted to do was eat, kill and mate. And none of them could die by lethal injection. We had to shoot them all in the back of the head. I have to show this virus to a potential buyer in one hour. But with all this new information, not only can we increase the strength for the military, I believe there's a possibility we can make people immortal. But sir, you're not... Yes, it's me. Bring him down, we're ready for him. I see. Very well. Who's in charge here? Well, sir, that would be me. Okay, good. Get the virus for me. You see, our plans made to get a convict down here to act as our little lab rat. It seems he's killed himself. It puts me in a difficult position. I need an infected person now. You said the chimp that bonded with the virus was female? Yeah. Then it's settled. You'll do nicely. No, no. What? No, 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 I want everything to pass that way. I want no evidence that she's working for us. No, please no. 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 So you can't just inject her with it. It needs to be out with a vial in her stomach. Is this bad? I, Fix it now! Know, we've never ever noticed a subject before. It's, it's, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Well! Fuck. No, 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 you need to keep her restrained. 
Yeah, yeah, I understand. No, 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 you don't oh, for God's sake, get him out of here! No, come on, no, 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 you don't understand! She's gonna kill us all! No, 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 no please, please, you need to let her back in there. Fuck. Out! Oh, shit. You're gonna make me a billionaire.
okay now? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, good. Sorry about the poor signal. It can't really be helped. But anyway, my name's Leo, and I'll be your eyes and ears for this mission. I'll make this quick, as I know time's against us. I know you were giving a brief before you were airlifted in, but I've been given orders to run this by you again. Your job is to look for one of our own men. I think his name's Timothy? Did you maybe chat to him when you were at the base? Can't say I have. They didn't really let us talk to many people on the ship. Yeah, I know, all too well. But anyway, we sent him in there to get some intel for us. But we've heard nothing back from him, and we can't really pick him up very well on our scanners. I mean, he's still moving around in town, but he could just be a zombie. Just bear with me one sec. It's fine. I've got this. Okay. Well, this bit's highlighted red, so this must be the scary bit. So, it says here, the US military is taking action. So far, the infection is contained in England, but local scientists and research has sort of discovered abnormalities in Ellsbury. There's more mutated zombies, and they seem to think that that's the first point where the zombie outbreak started. So they've decided to drop a nuke in hopes that it would hit, I don't know, a, a science lab, a building, anywhere they think that the outbreak could have started. <laughs> God. Anyway, it basically gives you 17 hours to get the job done you know, reach the pickup point. Kim's here as well, the ship's nurse. She'll be checking your heart rate and blood pressure. You know, from the tracker they put in you and the medical. <sighs> Don't remind me. Sorry, still a tender subject. But anyway, I've just had an email come through. And there's some pictures from the drone. It looks like there's a survivor at the Odeon. It's hard to tell from these pictures, but it looks like a girl. That's also the last place Timothy spoke to us. So maybe that would be a good place to start looking. If you give us, say, 20 minutes, we can probably find a better track. See if we can find them a bit easier. Well, I'll keep in contact. Over and out. Fire exit in front of you. You can probably hear the noises already. 
Sounds like a lot of zombies. Maybe find another way upstairs? And what the hell are you doing here? You're too early. You don't usually come until seven. Look, let's talk about this. Why the hell should I? This is all a misunderstanding. I'm here to help. I'm here from the government. I'm looking for a guy called Timothy. Sorry, but I can't take that chance. Bloody typical. Another mouthful. Good job, Meg. Oh, well, I guess she did take on quite a few zombies. We could use her for a food run, maybe? Oh. What the hell do I do now? Hmm. They'll be here soon. Oh, damn. That's my plan going to hell. What a fine mess I've got myself into. Hello? Oh good. I thought if I played music you'd eventually pick up. Who the hell are you? Hi, I'm Leo. And we're from a government-funded organisation. We? You mean this one here too? Yes. <clears throat> Look, I can understand this can all be a little too much. It's of the utmost importance that you look after and don't kill the one next to you. We're on an important mission to get information from an old colleague. Information that could stop this virus. Stop the virus? Like, kill all the zombies? Well, yes. We can stop this madness. We just need your help. If you can help us, we can arrange room on the chopper for you for when my partner completes her mission and we get what we want. What do you say? Like, get me out of this hell. Isn't there any virus where you are? England is the only island infected at the moment. We're on a cruise liner off the coast of Scotland. Sorry, what's your name again, by the way? My name's Meg. Well, Meg, I'll be on this line if you need me. I've been looking over you both with the drone. Are you expecting people? Why? Well, our drone's picking up a lot of people outside the Odeon. I had no idea there'd be so many survivors after this long. Shit, I'll handle it.
my home away from home. So where is this Meg? Maybe she ran away. That does not sound like something she would do. Nah, see? Not our Meg. She's not going anywhere. She has got obligations. Sorry I'm late. I lost track of time. Normally you're here waiting. Like I said. Yeah, like she said. Just lost track of time. It's not like she's got anything to hide from us. No, no, I wouldn't. Ain't that right? Good, because you remember what happened last time. <laughs> oh, you just cut this atmosphere with a knife. <laughs> so, Meg, how's it going? Oh, you know, it's been fine. Same old, same old, just getting by. Same old, same old. <laughs> Look, I think it's about time we looked at moving you up in this shitty little world of ours. You've been on lookout for us for a few months now, and it's just a goddamn waste of talent. I'll pass, thank you. The boss didn't give you an option, bitch. <laughs> okay, let's not turn this into a bad day. Man. The guys, they want you, and no, not in the way you want. But you're a good shot, and maybe we can cut a deal. But, you know, you're going to have to welcome me here. So look, okay? All the food you want to eat, safe place to stay, and uh, all the intelligent company you can ask for. <laughs> I'd rather stay here, thank you. You ignorant bitch. After all, the boss has done for you. <laughs> oh, you just went down from a hit from a little lady. Do you see him fall like a sack of shit? Put the gun down, slowly. The floor. Now kneel. That's not how we're gonna do it. Not today. You see, we all look out for each other. We all work together. That's how we survived for so long. Now you, hitting one of my boys, as sexy as that was, by the way, you're gonna have to pay for it. I wanna tase the bitch. One minute. Meg. Just apologize, and we're good. What? It's our law that decides how I punish her. It was thanks to Meg that there's no more zombies down by the bell. She got us weapons, she got us supplies. That's why I want her at the base, and not some beaten up pulp of a girl, just because you couldn't hold your punch. I can take anything he gives. I mean, look at those weedy arms. <laughs> oh, girl after my own heart. Have you ever seen such a badass? Control your shit! Meg. I don't want to see that pretty little face of yours beaten black and blue. Now, all you have to do is just say sorry. Fuck you! We'll be back in two days, so pack your shit. You're gonna be staying with us from then, but in the meantime, some lessons need to be learned. That's enough for me. I don't like to see the pretty ones get roasted. That's enough. 
Not till after this. How do you feel? Anything broken? I'm fine. A headache is to be expected. You were knocked out. Can you stand? <clears throat> yep. That's Meg. We had a little chat earlier. She may help us, which reminds me, you only have ten hours left to get this information. Luckily for you, I managed to pin down a better location. He's down by the pub, called the White Swan, or very, very close to that area at least. I was wondering when you were going to wake up. Sorry for that hit to the head. It's fine. Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just had a run in with the local dicks, you know. That feeling. So you can get me out of Elsby then? With any luck. Very encouraging. Come in, Meg. Hi again. So what's the plan? Well, the target we're after is meant to be around the Swan Pub. Of course it is. Is that a problem? It's just though, um, of the twats that take home half my supply every month. Oh, God. What are we even looking for? What does it look like? Well, really, it could be a memory card, a key card, or even a scribble on a notepad. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. It could be anything. The amount of money you paid for this information. What is the information? I'm afraid that I can't say. I see. Well, whatever. If you get me out of here, anything you want. I want my gun back anyway. Come on then. Oh, let's get this over with. This may be tricky, we may have to be subtle about this. I can be subtle. I think I've got a plan.
get down. Nine. Get down. Nine. Boy! Turn that off! Meg, this is unexpected. Who's your friend? We're some pretty useful equipment, boss. That she is. Why don't you uh, go ahead and relieve her of those and that right shield? They won't be needing them. All we want is a guy called Timothy. Timothy? Don't know any Timothys. You guys? No, boss. How are you? Timothys? No. Mm -hmm. You hear that answer? Maybe it's because you came here and you DISRESPECTED MY HOUSE! Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't set my men on you. Do you really want to fuck with me? Well, there was one scientist. You shut the fuck up! Okay, so maybe I did see someone come by like that. With a guy in a scientist coat, that's all I know. Is the tracker still here at the Swan? Yeah, that's it. The tracker in Timothy's back says he's really close. Who the fuck is that? Look, okay? All I was told was to give us this. He gave us some supplies in exchange for it, and then he was gone. What's that tag thing in there? The fuck if I know. The tracker's with the SD card. Give me a sec. Yeah, that's Timothy's tracker, but it's impossible. It was buried deep into his back. He did need a surgeon to get it out. Look, you kind of want this. I kind of need my medic. So, either you want this, or you don't. Let's trade. Get up. You bitch, huh? Uh. Oh, the tables are turned now, haven't they? <laughs> and what's so funny? I've got you a gift. Yeah. <laughs> I've got something for you too. Bet mine's bigger. <laughs> Shit! I do love me a badass.
done. I am done losing good people. Paige, come in. I'm here. So tell me what you have. We were cut off before knowing what happened. I've got a key card. The name on it says Anthony. And there's the SD card and Tim's tracker. A key card? Okay. Well, you just keep it safe. We'll send a chopper for you soon, okay? I'll inform you when it's five minutes away. From the drone, it looks like there's enough room in the Odeon car park. That'll be the pickup point, okay? Okay. I've run out. Oh. And there's one more thing, Paige. Don't tamper or look at anything on that USB. Just keep it safe for the boys at home, okay? Over and out. I'm not being told the whole truth here. There's got to be a reason why Tim's tracker was taken out. Okay, camera's on. Say what you've got to say, let's go. My name is Dr. Felix Cornell. I was hired by a privately funded company called GMS. The project was to work on a new virus. It would improve the physical and mental abilities of the subject. Early tests on pigs showed that it would increase the muscle mass by 40% and they could go for weeks without sleep. That was just scratching the surface. They've already found us! Okay, okay. When our funding ran out, we were approached by a man called Mike Thompson. We didn't know he was a madman. We didn't know his intentions. He, he came to see how we were progressing, but the, the virus wasn't ready. We needed more time. He killed all of my team. He infected Lucy. The virus reanimated her corpse. She infected everyone there. Everyone apart from me, I managed to escape. I locked them all in the lab, all apart from one of these zombies. That zombie has now infected 89% of the British population. Tim, 
Tim, Tim, come, come and tell them what you know. Tell them everything. Take this. Watch the door. If anyone comes in, you shoot them. My name is Turfy Snelling. I was tasked with finding about all the information I can on this virus that's spreading across the UK. From what I've found, the special task force has been lying to me. They told me this virus is airborne. And for what this scientist has told me, that's impossible. They also told me that I need to kill off every single person I find once they've served their usefulness. But I found out that our base of operations is being used to experiment on both infected and healthy survivors. So I've had my tracker taken out of my back and we've given all the information we found to a group of survivors here in Aylesbury. Now to the survivors, that tracker is going to lead the special task force right to you and the USB stick. Now you tell them from me, fuck you! Tim, 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 Tim. One more thing, my lab, it's underneath the council building. It's, it's like a bomb shelter, it can withstand a nuclear blast should the government ever want to use one. Which will we... probably be pretty soon. Yeah. This key card, this key card can get you in there. It's the only thing that will get you in there. But be careful, because Lucy and all those infected are still in there. If you can get in there, you can get to the bottom floor where my lab is. That's where my laptop is. It has all of my research data on there. You could help save the planet if you can get that laptop. No, 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 no. If you find that laptop, you destroy it. It's still contained in the UK. We can stop it from spreading. No, 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 no. If you can get that laptop to me in Germany, I might be able to reverse engineer a cure. We People may be able to. cannot be trusted with that kind of power. This information has to be destroyed. It can't be put into the wrong... They're here! We need to go! I pray whoever's watching this cares about humanity. I'm sorry. I knew I recognised him. They must have tried to escape through the car park. There goes any hope for a cure anytime soon. I can't believe I've been lied to all this time. I've got to be done with this. <laughs> the only thing I can do is I have to go to the tower, the secret room, and, and destroy the laptop. Page, 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 what are we to do with you? Sorry, do I know you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're on level B, yeah? Yeah, they didn't let too many of your group go out and mingle and chat with others on the ship, did they? How do you know all this? <laughs> My name is David. We were on the same ship. Same ship as you. Like you, I was rescued from Aylesbury. The only difference was, I had more information to give the higher ups. So in turn, they gave me some more power on the ship. What are you doing here? I thought I was the only one sent on this mission. <laughs> oh, come on now. You don't think they'd send you out on an important mission without the ship controlling? Every aspect, do you? Now, let's see this. Yeah, there it is. Little camera in your left eye. It's just a itty bitty little black and white fella. But it does the job just fine. You're lying. No, no. If it makes you feel any better, we all have them too. They put them in when they do the physical. You remember waking up in that room, undressed? 
Yeah. Mm -mm. They do some things which is intrusive. But hey, back to business. You broke the rules, Paige. Went against your command. Haven't really given me much choice. Wait. Hmm? So you've been here the whole time? In Aylesbury? Yeah. They dropped us in the same time that they dropped you in, so we could complete our mission. But then the higher-ups called me. Can I sort out Paige? Gather what I can from her? No hard feelings, eh? I said you even trust me to do this mission on my own the whole time. So we've got about 30 minutes. Listen, babe, we've got about 30 minutes until they drop a three million pound nuke on our ass, so let's just do this, okay? Oh, oh no! Don't let me interrupt you. Oh, don't mind me. If you guys have family problems, I always find a cuddle helps. <laughs> well, well, I didn't expect this. And what about our deal? I paid you well to get information on that little piece of fucking shit, Tim. True, but the girls put on a better show. I'm a sucker for a strong woman. She shame about Meg. Now that was a woman. She didn't deserve the death she got. Now, I may not be able to do much, but I can do this. What the fuck do you want? I've been thinking. Me and my men, we've been running around, take, 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 take. And that's just bad for business. So, I'm here to help Paige out. But I didn't realize she'd have so many finely dressed men at her party. You're making a big fucking mistake. <laughs> Maybe. But it's worth it to see the look on your smug, privileged fucking face. Paige, how can we help you this fine day? There's an abandoned lab underneath the old tower. There's information down there. It's where the zombie outbreak started. My old group, they want the information to make something worse than zombies. In 20 minutes, there's going to be a nuke dropped on the area. Its blast will destroy everything. But there's a chance the lab will survive. So I'm going to go down there and I'm going to destroy the information. I need to make sure this sort of thing doesn't happen again, anywhere. Fuck, really? Right, get to it, Jesus. Thanks. I never did catch your name, by the way. It's Martin. It's been a pleasure. Pa Paige, don't go. Look, we can cut a deal. All I need to do is call my people from the ship. No, think, no Paige, think about it. Think of the payout. Help me, help my men get what we need from the lab. You and I, we can rule the world through fear. Now think on that. On the ship there were rumours about a guy called David who was brought on board. They said he'd survived more zombie attacks than anyone else. He had a little girl with him. Tell me, what happened to the little girl yet? Fuck you. Her name is... Her name was Jess. When we were brought aboard the, aboard the ship, I was given a choice. See, there was only enough room for one of us. They told me if I couldn't shoot her, then I wasn't the type of person they needed aboard. So I did what I did. I did what I always do. I survived. Yeah. That's what the rumour said. I can see why you fit in so well on the ship. Paige, you're making a big fucking mistake! When you're done, get out as fast as you can. You might just survive the blast. Hey, you want me to come with or send one of my men with you? We can even give you a drive out of town. No. Where I'm going, I don't think I'm coming back. God knows what's down there, but I need to do this. Hey, look, I ain't keen on dying. Yet, anyway. Outside you find a flashlight. The 
power down there is out like it is all over town, I'm guessing the backup generator is gone too. You're going to need it. Look, I'm going to wait 10 minutes. If you ain't back, it's been a pleasure knowing such a badass.